What is good, everybody? It's your boy, MJ. Welcome back to another weekly dose of the plug. You know the deal. Share, like, give me a comment, and make sure you subscribe. Let's get right into it. COVID is not over, clearly. COVID cases are starting to spike up in America, but also spiking up in different parts of the world, like Mexico. Always evolving pythons, attending big event, Anomalia Expo in Mexico City. Miguel was invited to attend the event, so he went down there with some friends, and he also invited Justin Kabelka. While he was at the event, he caught COVID. So what does that mean? Quarantine for 14 days in a hotel in Mexico City. Man, what a drag. I've been talking to Miguel. He's still in good spirits. More importantly, he's feeling a lot better health-wise, but he's just grinding out his final days in quarantine currently in Mexico. Now, he's been there for seven days so far, and I believe he has another seven days remaining. From what I understand, it's a 14-day quarantine. So let's all do our boy a favor. Let's give some prayer and some hope that he could go ahead and get tested and come back home to the state soon to his fans his snakes and more importantly to his family so miguel we're all rooting for you hang tight guys just be careful out there i'm not too sure if miguel has his vaccination shots i don't have his his, his shot chart in front of me I'm, i apologize but at the end of the day you still got to be careful find yourself this is still a new thing with covid affecting the world it's not gone away i really hope covid does not get out of hand again and it starts affecting the reptile shows that we're all looking forward to start attending health first you know safety first and teamwork so like I said, Miguel, hang tight. We're rooting for you and we're can't, we can't wait for you to get back home and get back to that AEP business. U.S. ARC news, little U.S. ARC update. North Carolina, what is happening? You guys need to rally together because it looks like there's some serious bans heading your way. They're trying to stop people from keeping exotic animals. We've all been saying how serious of a situation this has been with the battle with U.S. ARC and legislation. It's getting real serious in North Carolina. If you have been following the announcement on the U.S. ARC website. U.S. ARC website gives you updates exactly what's happening with fights against legislations in certain states like North Carolina and Florida. But more importantly, if you actually go and read these announcements, there are important emails of people that you guys could contact and reach out to and let them know about your frustrations with these exotic animal bans happening in North Carolina and Florida. Folks, I say this day after day, no one is going to come and take away my animals. And if you have the exact same feeling out there, then my suggestion to you is to go and support U.S. ARC. More importantly, if your area is being effective, make sure you are reaching out the people in your county, the people that are important in your area, and let them know how serious you are about wanting to keep your animal rights and making sure no one's going to take your loved ones away. At the end of the day, but we have to speak up. We have to talk about it. There's a link in the description below. Click on that link and find out the people that you could contact and reach out to and let them know how important these animals are to you, especially if you're in the North Carolina area. In other news, Louisiana Zoo. Do misplaced a Burmese python and ended up getting found in a shopping mall. Now this is a zoo. This isn't a private keeper. Right on. So that means even the professionals can mess up from time to time. But that being said, let's get it together there, Louisiana Zoo. Video clip of the week. I got something so interesting to show you guys. Now how many people out there have been told that snakes are smart? Well, look no further because I have video proof on how smart a snake is. Can be now give or take this is no reticulated python and no green tree python we all know smart how those snakes can be but this eastern indigo owned by scarlet rose of nightshade and she posted a video on her facebook account now i don't want to say too much i want you guys to go ahead and see this for yourself but check out how smart these snakes actually are Albert Einstein type shit. That was crazy. 
This snake knew there was food somewhere to be found. Amazing stuff. Good share, Scarlet. Thank you so much. Reminding people on how smart snakes could actually be case by case. I don't know if a retic could do something like that. If you out there have a retic and you could get a big food puzzle out there, I would love to see a retic do something like this. It would really prove me wrong. And I would like to be proved wrong. All right, all you ball python lovers out there, who's ready for a total game changer? Well, if you don't follow Justin Kabelka and his YouTube channel, right now the time's to do it. Justin Kabelka just dropped a video on black exantic ball pythons, producing snakes from the black and white television days. Insane. This is something that is so revolutionary, I feel like, with the ball python game because it just reminds you that you can never predict what's to come next when it comes to producing ball pythons. So shout out to Justin Kabelka. If you have no idea, what the heck I'm talking about right now is your time to catch up all right breeder spotlight of the week or keeper spotlight of the week Bruce Sanders of Scales and Things, also head trainer and animal socializer over at the Reptarium. I've had the pleasure of meeting Bruce a couple of times. The last time I got to see Bruce was at the Reptarium, and he actually had me tag along with him as he worked with some of his monitors, some of the snakes. And I can tell you right now, there's not one thing that Bruce does not know over at that Reptarium. He knows that place like the back of his hand. I want to let you know how inspiring Bruce was when it comes to working and handling monitors. As a lot of you know, know who follow Bruce. He's been working with Baby Kush, which is at this point an adult male croc monitor. Seeing Bruce work one-on-one -on -one with Baby Kush, from Baby Kush being a baby all the way to an adult. I also saw Bruce work with Beetlejuice, the Bell Phase Lace Monitor. For those of you who follow me out there, you know Bell's Phase Lace Monitor is my jam. But to see Bruce actually handle one with no fear, the confidence was there, and that confidence is what instilled into my brain when I came back from that visit. And boy, did that confidence take me a long ways when it comes to me handling my own lace monitors and my green tree monitors. All I gotta say is, Bruce is the real deal. Guy is born with a gift. If you do not follow my man, Bruce Sanders, please do me a favor, go give him a follow. And if you happen to talk to my man, Bruce, make sure you congratulate him on getting Keeper Spotlight of the Week on Animal Bites Television. Trap Talk with MJ Podcast, UK, where you at? Are you ready for disclosure? I'm just kidding, no. We had Dorset Pythons and we had Balls to You from the UK on Trap Talk with MJ, both spitting some serious game on breeding ball pythons. These two going back and forth was just so much knowledge being dropped on both ends. It's something that if you out there are trying to gain more knowledge when it comes to keeping and breeding ball pythons, this is gonna be an episode you definitely don't wanna miss. And if you're not following Gavin from Balls to You or Christian from Dorset Pythons, I highly suggest you check them out on Instagram and more importantly, check out that episode I just had with them. Big shout out to Gavin and Christian for coming on a Trap Talk and spitting some of that serious UK game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for this week's episode of The Plug. Please do your boy a favor. Don't forget to share, like, drop a comment, and subscribe, and make sure you are ready next week to be plugged.